Triple G Golovkin. Actions are ready. Trunk levels are good. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Curtis Stevens Uncle. trainer Andre Rozier says there are many avenues no to announce thinks this fight is going the distance. What avenue are we about to take? Believe it. <laughs> Round one begins. Very quickly, let's bring in trouble. Our so I do not expect a premature stoppage tonight. Curtis Stevens' big shot is his left hook. He just against tried. Golovkin moments ago. Golovkin lands a left hook of his own. Stevens hits you on a chin with a left hook. It doesn't matter who you are. You got to go. <laughs> well, Triple G is doing a good job starting out early with his jab. Stevens is at five feet seven inches and with a two inch reach disadvantage from the armpit to the end of the fifth. Not likely hard. hard body shots. So does Stevens. Stevens There's a little left hook for Curtis and now a right cross. Stevens also is a pretty quick fighter and he himself good amateur background. Very quick fighter. Golovkin lands a right cross, first one he throws. Stevens takes it. Golovkin with a little straight right lead. Has a look of tremendous determination on his face here. Keeping his gloves up and focusing on defense. Now he tries a big shot and lands a right thing to see Golovkin backing away from a guy, but he respects Stevens' power. And Good I left hook. Steven speed has him too much room though, because he's the taller fighter, so no need to stay there. Make the taller fighter have to reach for you a little bit. Good right hand for Golovkin. Stevens again takes it well. His chin has shown up. His own knee too, Jim. Final 10 seconds of round one. Gets in a right cross. Very good, but the jab has got to be established. Okay? Double, double pump yeah. the jab two once in a while. Deep breath. Yeah, every time you push him back, baby. Don't make him. Put, put it on quick hands. Quick hands. Let's, Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Curtis Stevens may already have a small. They were working the eyebrow in his. You heard them asking him to move to his right and throw some body shots when he gets close. Abel Sanchez asked Gennady Golovkin, expecting something big to land. <laughs> and the threat of that has already dulled Golovkin's normal early rounds attack. And Stevens landed a left hook. There's a fighter named Darnell Boone. Almost beat Kovalev, lost a very close split to Knocked out Adonis Stevenson. Knocked down Andre Ward, the only pro to do it. Curtis. To get those shots home. Well, other than the threat that a healthy Sergio Martinez might outbox him. I'm liking what we're seeing right here in front of us tonight. It's a chess match to see who can land the power and get as much. Big left hook for Golovkin. Stevens gets it. That's what his corner wanted. Right hand for Golovkin. Stevens with another little counter left hook. Good right hand by Golovkin. Good left hook by Golovkin. Down goes this. Cossack Thunder in round number two. And now Gennady will go for the kill. 15 seconds in the round. He runs off the ring. Bang Stevens into the ropes. Ten seconds to go in the round. Body shot. Looking upstairs. This is with the left. Wobbled Stevens with it. One more right hand, and the round comes to a close. Where you are, Curtis? No, no, give me that right towel. Good. All right, man. Curtis, I'll go back in. Exactly. Leave left hook, and he followed it by an even better left hook that sent Curtis Stevens to the canvas. The first right hook was a great setup punch. They caught him flush on the chin, but the second one, easy the first one, and followed by the second one. The second one right there was the real punch, real meaningful punch. He says a thousand words. That was wow. out. What said the most to me was that he got up, looked at his corner, covered up, made it through the round, and even threw a left hook. Because he has the, wit, the means to land the heavy thunder, it's more probable that he does because he's a superior technical fighter in addition to having the punching power. Well, he had been showing Stevens all night that his hook was just as good or better than Stevenson's. Than Stevenson's. Letting his hands go now as Golovkin jabs him into position in the corner, throws a right cross, gets in a left hook to the body. Now Stevenson. Coming back at him. And that jab is really what's setting up everything for Golovkin. Stevens' corner after. Keeping himself open to the right hand. 
Golovkin has made an impression with both power shots. The left hook. Two big right crosses by Golovkin. Steven takes it. Left in the third round as Stevens backs into the ropes. And Golovkin looks for the opportunity to land something big. But again, the possibility of a counter shot. Doesn't right want to trade over the top by Golovkin. Doesn't want to trade a body shot for a head shot this early in the fight of the body. Right hand upstairs. Another body shot by Golovkin. Steven's You're making him brave. Where's that water at? Perfect. Stick to jab and press him. And then throw combinations. Throw combinations. Upstairs, downstairs. End the story. Straight at that thing. Gennady Golovkin. Stevens at least is starting to move forward now. Putting the jab out would allow him to see what, what pressures to throw. Body shot by Stevens and another one. Drives the best offense we've seen from Curtis Stevens since the first round. Yeah, he at least has some success coming forward. With me. Now let's listen to a few seconds and hear what he's telling his fighter as the round progresses. Oh, big body shot by Nicky Frank oh, with here. two good clean shots. And knocks Golovkin back and lands a left hook and brings some excitement to the right now for Curtis Stevens. Those are clean shots he's landing. Had he fought that last right here with left hook to right hand. Golovkin lands a, an uppercut and a left hook. Taking advantage of Stevens' offense to counter. A real hard getter. You just gotta set something up. Alright? Deep breath. A good, good job. Right, keep him at the distance. Okay. Okay. You see Curtis Stevens coming forward with a one-two, followed by a little short jab hook. Was a good punch, probably his best punch of the fight. Lovkin knocking him back with the jab. Lands the right hand over the top. Stevens hooked there. Like Max said, maybe his head is starting to clear now from that first round knockdown. And he's showing his hand speed. Second round. by Stevens. Momentarily wobbled Golovkin. Right cross lands. We have yet to see how Golovkin's going to react when Steven catches him with his, a One real time. good... They both landed nine. Golovkin. And he does so much better when he comes forward and does not sit back and wait on Gennady Golovkin. But when he waits... Saw another Golovkin wrinkle moments ago. The fighters seem to do very well. Body shot for Golovkin. He's won all the rounds. Stevens is exposing a vulnerability to speed. He's still very fast and, and hits sneaky hard. And this fight is a long way from over. Good right up cut by Stevens. Checking. Now Golovkin with a body shot and a right cross and momentarily hurts Stevens. Hurt him bad with that body shot. Good comeback uppercut and a right cross by Stevens. Stevens. And Golovkin, Stevens Golovkin trying to measure him one more time. Yes. Right cross for Golovkin. Body shot. Uppercut. Right cross. Right cross. Another right cross lands for Golovkin. The ground for Gennady. He wobbled Stevens with a couple of shots and is still seeking a knockout as the round progresses. Good There's luck. nothing easy for him. For Gennady as he pins Stevens in the corner and looks to land. They're close, so that's where his arms are most dangerous at in, in close fighting. This has been a brilliant round for Golovkin. Stay in the middle of the ring and keep working in the circle. Yeah, we got down work. 
Left uppercut to the head, but left body shot, which brought the hands down. Then followed a jab with the overhand right. Right Christian Question is this. If the glove is closed, you can measure the guy. We're told that Mrs. Rozier, uh, or actually Tanya Rozier, Excuse Barbara me. used to walk the perimeter of the upper deck of the stadium. I don't know why Stevens was against the ropes. I think it was those body shots by Golovkin in the last round, but here Stevens is trying his best. Stevens has listened to his trainer, who told Stay him in the middle of the ring. But now Golovkin backs him to the ropes. And you heard Andre Rozier say to you, this is the corner where Golovkin has heard him try. Golovkin's done a great night. The fans appreciate that kind of risk taking, and it's one of the reasons Golovkin's becoming a fan favorite. With one of those punishing power shots. Now, on the inside, when you get him up against the wall, give him a little I water. I guarantee you, you heard him. Kurt, Yo, you think use you your speed, speed man. Stop. Incipient beatdown in Madison, seeming to give in just a little bit here. Landed a left shot off the ropes. About to stop this one. Whipping Curtis Stevens into the corner. Oh, oh, that's it. And they're going to stop it in the corner. Great stoppage. Andre Rozier had seen enough. That's a great stoppage because the temptation with a guy who did the right thing, Jim. Absolutely right. That face tells you everything. Gennady Golovkin.